Whenever you get an opportunity to go for pilgrimage, try to visit to Shantikunj, where the traditions of all the sages have been revived. Pandit Sri Ram Sharma Acharya Book title Devatma Himalaya Evam Rishi Parampara Himalayas and the Traditions of Sages What is this book about? This book is one of the discourses given by the author, Pandit Sri Ram Sharma Acharya, who is a sage, a visionary of bright future, a social reformer. His discourses are the wealth of knowledge, pearls of wisdom, and have shown path to millions to lead a virtuous and blissful life. He lived a simple, disciplined life, full of devout austerity, visited the Himalayas several times, and attained spiritual eminence and foresight from Swami Sarveshwarananda. His discourses are published as books, and this book is one of those where he mentions the divinity of Himalayas, its distinctiveness, and the instructions given by many divine souls living in subtle bodies. Why Himalaya is called Devatma, soul of the divine? Himalayas have been considered one of the most sacred places on earth since the Vedic period and are also considered as a place that stands as a parliament of rishis, spiritual scientists, sages. Those rishis were the spiritual scientists who underwent great penance and successfully developed guidelines for humanity in different areas. Each rishi used to have his own department and develop the regime of having a blissful life with high attributes and virtues and presented it to the society for their welfare. Why did the author go to the Himalayas? On various occasions, the guru of the author, Swami Sarveshwarananda, invited the author to an unknown place in the Himalayas where he was blessed by high virtues of Himalayas and was introduced to the great rishis like Yakivalk, Patanjali, Jarak, Narad, and many others. During their divine counseling, all the rishis were anxious to reinstate the values of the dis disciplines they had worked for earlier and therefore discussed the plans, guidelines, and strategies to revive rishi traditions with the author Pandit Sri Ram Sharma Acharya. This culminated into establishment of Shanti Kunj in Sat Sarovar Bank of Ganges in Haridwar in 1971, a place so chosen basis instructions given by Swami Sarveshwaranand to Panditji because of its location as gateway to Himalayas. What are the efforts to revive Rishi tradition that the author had to undertake? The author was asked to acquaint people with the power of Gayatri Mantra according to the tradition of Vishwamitra Rishi, to establish a Siddh Gayatri Tirth, realize centers of pilgrimages, to write books and 18 volumes of Prakya Puran, compilation of wisdom, in Rishi Vyas tradition, to extend the science and philosophy of yoga sadhana, practice of yoga and self-refinement in Patanjali tradition, to build up an atmosphere of refined and ennobling vibrations by eradicating evil tendencies from the minds of the people according to Parashuram tradition, to conduct scientific research and popularize use of medicinal herbs according to Charak tradition, to heal and set right mental disorders by holistic treatments of Yagyopathy in Yakivalk tradition, to establish sadhana aryankas, places of living in accordance to nature for promoting the growth of goodness and character building in Jamdagani tradition, to lead wandering life of a religious mendicant, parivrajak, with the aim of imparting true knowledge and guidance for the spread of religious and spiritual consciousness in Narad tradition to provide guidance to the medium of ethics to the administrative setup in the tradition of Aryabhat, to build up a Pragya Sansthans at different places in Shankaracharya tradition, to promote all-round health with the help of proper diet, Ahar Kalp, according to Piplad tradition, and to convene Pragya Sammelans, congregations to spread wisdom from place to place for educating the masses according to Suthshonic tradition. Acharyaji also indicated the outline of establishing Brahma Virtus Research Institute for conducting research on scientific lines according to the scientific traditions of Atharvaveda, as was done by Kanad Rishi. Rishi. Few excerpts from the book. Almost all the sages belong to Uttarakhand. They underwent great penance in this sacred place so that they can manage their spiritual powers. That is why they had chosen this place. I, the author, have chosen this place, Haridwar, particularly because Himalaya starts from here and it will not be difficult for you devotees and followers to reach here. We send you an invitation through this lecture 
whenever you get a chance to go for pilgrimage try to come here to shanti kunj where traditions of all rishis have been established with key features of the himalayas himalaya is not only the land of sages it is also a land of divine powers it is also called heaven origin of the universe took place here according to the history the first human was born here i the author also say that if heaven exists it is right here on this earth in the divine soul region of himalayas near mount kailash some topics covered in the book himalayas and the traditions of the sages reawakening of the traditions of himalayan sages mm-hmm.